No, we're not going blue bottles. See this flavor right here, Dave. I'm gonna light this. This is the new and improved. I had to test it last time, didn't I? Yes. But this is different. I don't think you told it. I don't think you told the flavor. You said it was a secret last time. Yeah, it's okay. I'm but but I saw you said you said the you said the the flavor on the, your story. So the cat's out of the uh, out of the bag. I need you to sample this. Okay. Is there creatine in the Prevail? Oh no. No. I was wondering. Mmm. Yes, it's tangy. Pretty good, huh? Yeah. It's sour. Mmm. Better than the last one, right? Yeah, and the other one was good too. But this is better. Yeah. Oh, now everyone knows. <laughs> You're gonna start drinking for bail, you know, when I get the. Uh, I know, and the peach, peach mango. mango. When's that coming? You said it's in production, right? Next week it's finished. Okay, good. I have a question for you though. Do you know what you're training today? <laughs> Just. Yeah. You know why? Because it's Sunday. Yes, and I will not train tomorrow. <laughs> I will not conform. <laughs> I want to make sure that we get the training tonight because I just don't know tomorrow what tomorrow's going to be. Yeah, so tonight we're going to try something different, you guys. We're going to film the entire workout. We talked about it. So Jay wants to do it the exact same way Mitz used to do it back in the day. So we're gonna film from beginning to end with everything in between. And so this is the start of the video. Yeah, so we'll see how it goes. If you guys like it. Ooh. Two scoops. Kicking it up without much, much tight. Plus. But I am taking a pre-workout with a little caffeine. Yeah. And obviously nootropic right now because I'm, I'm tired, man. I've been up since three o'clock Vegas time. Yeah. You were sleeping on the couch earlier. A little bit. <laughs> yeah. The boss was yeah, well, she may, she may watch this video. <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> okay. She, she doesn't watch. She only watches the Ace Family on YouTube. Oh, boy. You know what the Ace Family is? Yes. I do, though. All right. We're going to train. Bring your favorite spot. Why is that my favorite spot? Bring your ID. Oh, yes. I do have it. All right, so we're gonna do chest and calves, and as you guys know, we're gonna do calves first. Feeling good, I'm still feeling motivated. I'll check my weight today, see what my weight is. 255. <laughs> you need to gain five pounds every time I see you. And then what? What happens when that, I hit 260, 270? Right? Then it's like comeback time, yeah. prepping for next year. Right. <laughs> you know people are gonna say it. Of course. They are gonna say that. Of course they're gonna say it. You look too good, you gotta compete. It's a waste. <laughs> yep. All right. Oh yeah? My topic was actually uh, calf training today. So I talked about my favorite calf exercises. I seem to always start with standing. You ever notice that? Yes, I did notice that. You're a creature of habit. I always seem to do two, uh, I hate to call them warm-up sets. 
the feel sets, right? So now I'm gonna do three working sets of this. How many views did our gym etiquette video get? A lot. I would so have to go a back. Prime example of gym etiquette. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. The guy knew we were coming. exercises and to stretch the calves is actually what I'm doing right here. So what I try to do is I try to bend down and keep my heels on the floor and I stretch my calves that way. So you guys talking about like fascia release and that kind of stuff, people always ask me, you know, how does a muscle grow, right? The fascia needs to be relaxed enough to allow the blood flow for expansion. So you gotta keep constantly stretching. So I like to stretch between each set. dumbbell over here by the cap. Explain that to me. I don't know, man. Huh? I don't know. Weird people. You know what they were doing, right? Uh, sumo squat? One-legged one legged calf raise. Oh, God. Yeah. Which to me is the most bullshit exercise ever. <laughs> I don't know anything, right? <laughs> you only won four Olympias. You know, I always mention the, the atomic shoe, for some reason, I like wearing. Doing yeah, me too. You've been wearing yours? Of course. I love the one you're wearing the most to do legs. That's the best. And this weight, this weight is the same as what I was doing when I was competing. What you just saw right here. So well. I did three and a quarter, and then I'm doing three here. So. That's why you still have legs and calves. calves. You mean? Well, both. You think I had good calves? What you, <laughs> that's a that's a silly question. <laughs> I see. So you notice that one-two contraction. Now, is it right or wrong? People will question why I do it. People are asking in this video. It's just something I developed over the years for feel. And what I really try to do is you notice I get a deep stretch, I come halfway up, and I get a really strong contraction. I feel it hits a little more of the dense muscle fibers. And I started with zero calves. So for me to work my way up and have, I felt pretty well developed calves. It really. You had no calves? They weren't like, comparable to my legs. Remember how big my legs were at first? Yeah. Calves didn't grow like that, but eventually they caught up. So it's kind of like a one-two thing. So. 
All right, third set. start with the reps here so 14 okay so what I'm gonna do is do one more set of this so it's my two field sets and then I'm gonna work my way into three working sets and I'm gonna pyramid the weight up okay and I'm gonna kill it like that kid just did <laughs> killing them both right, so this is gonna be my heavy set you know it's funny is I could go heavier today, so I'm gonna do. Let's see how many reps I do this. How many think I can get with it? Ten or twelve. That's what you gotta hit. Ten to twelve. I think I'll, I think I'll do twelve pretty easy. What do you think? 
I think so. Alright, so remember when I do this motion, you're gonna see this movement. I'm only contracting the chest, I'm not coming out and locking out. So it's just steady. Okay. Look at this guy, teenage bodybuilder right here. Hey. What's up guys? You're on GTV, man. Ooh, what you guys hit in the chest? Yeah, you saw the chest, I just oh, yeah. back to town. Nice. You're showing like, what, six months? This is next contest. Are you going to do one before? Get a Samson too. He's pretty dedicated, this guy. Thanks. I kill you guys. competing for a couple, two years now even? Two years, yeah. You're all now 18? 18, going on 19 next year. Yep. That's not old. <laughs> Make sure you guys follow this guy. Big dollar. What? X Mendoza on IG. What's it? Spell it for me. M I G U E L X Mendoza M E N D O Z A. All right, man. We'll tag you, buddy. There you guys go. <laughs> All right, yeah, yep. awesome. You guys have a good one. Keep going, man. Show off. Huh? Fifteen. <laughs> nice. I smile through every round. <laughs> yeah, you made it look easy. You could have put four play easy. No, and you know what? You don't want to get too big. Don't tell me that. <laughs> People say, man, James, why don't you push yourself? Who says that? No, the fans. <laughs> 46 years old. <laughs> He's young. Remember, I'm doing this for my head, not for my physique this much. I was talking about the mental aspect of the jaywalking. And yeah, yeah. The favorite for sure is jaywalking, by the way. They love jaywalking. Oh, yeah. I got, I got three people this weekend that came up to me. For sure. It's a favorite, for sure. Next exercise. Very pumped already. I walk in the gym now, Dave. I'm pumped. <laughs> All right, first set. 80s. Okay. Used to be hundreds. We'll lighten it up the load a little bit. I lock it top for that. I contract the chest sometimes at the top of the movement. Okay. So I'm going to do three total sets here. So that was one. And the next, next set and the following set will probably be 100 pounds. I would do hundreds. What I like about these is that the handles are a little thicker actually. Mm. Like a if you notice, yeah, if you notice the handle size, this. Yeah. These are the old ones, but they get bent yeah, yeah. a little easier. So 60 seconds, rest, and right with it. So just have to catch the breath. So that's kind of like my tip for you guys, is the rest times. It's really important.
don't even want to think about it. I'm gonna have no choice. Alright, it's hitting the thing. You gotta push it in. Okay, so introduce me to this young guy. Right so here. he, so 2013. I forgot the year. I thought it was. Uh, I thought it was like around that time. But he did a report. He was 17. Were you 17? Yeah, I was 17. In high school. Yeah. So uh, he did a report with another guy, and they said they got second. What's right, the, second what was the report place. about? So it was, it was for a project for school. It was called National History Day. So okay. if we would have won, we would have gone to the White House. But. Um, Another group on actually. What was the report saying though? So pretty much it was about it was about bodybuilding, how it you know developed over the years, how it wasn't as big as today. The sport, you know, it's just blown up. And how we start talking about, you know, bodybuilding from how it used to be back in the day, not as many competitors compared to how you know like the mass monsters now compared to back yeah, then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. So I was 17 you did that? I was 17, yeah. And you got seventh, second place? Uh, we got second place in that project. Actually, he he actually told me to do a show <laughs> for uh, his the Color Classic, which was yeah. like, why don't you do a show? He's doing that a lot. <laughs> That's the second time this weekend I'm hearing this. Yeah. Well, now he's, you're going to go you're going for criminal justice now, right? Yeah, right now I'm the, the police. Like officer. you, before, yeah. yeah. He's, he's yeah. trying to get on to Metro. Metro. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So. What was the first prize of you winning the uh, the report if you did win? Uh, first place uh, National History Day project was you would go to the White House, wow. meet the president, and all that stuff. So. Damn, you came close. But we got, we so were very close. Fault. It's my fault. It's my fault. No, 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 no. no. no that, he, that was all honestly an honor. You know, it's having him on our video. That was that was great. Oh man, that's so cool. My motivators and support. Yeah. So. Well, now we got you on the video. Give your Instagram account so people uh, can see you. Monster Rusa. That's my Instagram. So can you can you spell it? M A N S U R dot R U S S A. Are you so, USSA? Yeah. Okay, cool, awesome. Appreciate you. Thank you, man. You look good, buddy. Appreciate you. Yeah, you're shifting looking hard. Good, I know, you're great. I don't think he's going to compete, but. Uh, <laughs> well, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, I just got to keep looking at his Instagram page. Nice so, to meet you. Like, one day, one day. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, man. White House. Can you imagine if he actually won and went because of you? Right. <laughs> That'd be been cool. I suck, I guess, huh? Yeah. No. Come on. I, you know what though? I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you. Somehow it's your fault that he didn't win. <laughs> of course it is. I was there in 13. I'm sure somehow it's my fault. If you weren't there, <laughs> you might have won. I would have been had a lot more information. <laughs> you notice I always, I'm always blaming someone else, Dave. I, I did notice that. Yes. I said this is Dexter Jackson's favorite machine. Right here. Is it? Yes. Well, you guys have the plate loaded one. You're right. I'm gonna do this grip because this is this is Dave Orlay grip right here. Yes. Handicap. Today's not going to be a long one for no. I don't have to do a lot of sets. You were pumped by the first set. <laughs> so this gym is actually bigger than the one that we toured, you know? Yeah, by like 10,000 square feet, I think, right? Is that right? That much? Yeah, 100. This one is 100, the one was 90. Damn. Yeah. I like this gym a lot, though. This is the yeah. 2009 uh, comeback. comeback. I mean, that, yeah. We trained here a lot. Oh, my God. You know what I remember is those fucking... Those walking lunges around the track, I remember that. You laughed when that. I was dying. You, you were laughing that. your ass off because I was dying, yes, I remember. Shout out to 
hydrate. Followers from the years past. One for the last one. Boom. And why do we do that? It's a mind game. That's right. It's getting tight. <laughs> Must be a cheesecake. <laughs> cheesecake pump. I miss the muffin man. It sucks we don't see him that much anymore. His gym's opening soon. Yeah. I told you five pounds. What the fuck did I tell you? I was right again. 255. Yes, 256 it says. Wow. Right. That's five pounds. Is it really? Yeah. It's all your fault. I'll, I'll, that's fine. I'll take that. <laughs> Look at that. Come back. All right, so I wanted to wrap up a little bit of this uh, workout, and this is kind of a lengthy one. It's kind of a new format that we're trying, guys. Um, with the channel we've had huge success even on the workout videos even though time and time again you'll hear me um, you know talk about training body parts and you've seen you know from magazine articles now to YouTube um, to different routines you see on my social media daily uh, I like to kind of point out little things each time so I'm feeling really full today and listen I had a little bit of cheap food today but I'm also like getting my meals in. I'm training I trained yesterday when I was in Michigan so I came home and I did chest, and this is another instinctive day because I actually do legs. Uh, but unfortunately, for like uh, one of our last videos, we just shot legs. So, right. and I am limited what I can do right now with my hamstring because I did strain my hamstring on Olympia weekend, taking my shoe off, taking my shoe off like this. I was pulling and it actually popped my hamstring. So I'm kind of recovering. I can do I can do pretty heavy with the quads, but the hamstring like lying leg curls I'm having trouble with still single leg curls but it's been slowly healing it didn't black and blue which i'm actually surprised really yeah so today was chest and calves um very basic movements incline hammer uh flat dumbbell press we did cable crossovers we did 
um, the neutral grip uh, press, like flat press, and then we did pullovers, which I'm going to point a little bit, I'm going to talk a little bit about the pullovers because there's a lot of confusion with the pullovers now. A lot of people do them for lats. I like to do them for chest, and if you notice when I grab the dumbbell, guys, I'm grabbing it, holding it like with my hand in like a diamond over the, over the bar. And what I'm really trying to do is I'm really just contracting the chest. So as I pull the weight, it's stretching the fibers and it's uh, it's always something, bro. If it's uh, always cycle. something. That's live TV, guys, sorry. So, so, you know, I'm pulling the chest, pulling the fibers and really just kind of lengthening the muscle tissue. I talk about stretching the fascia. You see me stretching between the sets, but I did three sets of that, like the pullover, and I really like those a lot. I did them a lot in my routine. It also opens up the rib cage opens up the shoulder joints, the lats, all that stuff. So indirectly, you're always gonna work those muscles, although this is more focused on my chest, to really bring out the pump. And you saw, you're like, man, you're ready to pop out. I was 2X shirt. <laughs> so, really? Uh, it, I mean, is that I why you do so that little full. bump also when you do the-, the You'll you, see, you you'll see when I come up, I kind of squeeze the chest yeah. and I'll pump, I'll yeah, yeah, pulsate yeah. a little bit. Yeah, yeah. So I always, um, you know, I always do that to kind of get the contraction and okay. really get my mind to the muscle. If you watch how I do stuff, a lot of times, like I'll do six or seven reps, even like the dumbbell presses, and I'll pause and I'll lock my head into the muscle and then I'll force out a couple more reps. But you notice I never go to failure because it's always the high volume approach. I can go a lot heavier. I just don't. Uh, you know, there's a lot of things that, you know, I would like the comments below and, and hopefully, uh, you know, you guys can kind of bounce ideas off each other. But this is just another chest routine. I mean, pretty simple. The calves, three exercises, the donkey calf, the standing calf, and the seated calf. Hitting the calves from all different angles. The one-two motion. Uh, I think, you know, I train my calves every once, every five to seven days. Very suggestive. I've done every day. I've done every other day. I've done high reps, low reps. I've always sit around the 12 rep range, really get that contraction. As you see, uh, not trying to build my calves much, just trying to keep a little bit there. Uh, like I said, it's uh, it's kind of hard because I'm putting on weight now, right? 256 today. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, I did eat this weekend, but not as much as I probably should have. So, I mean, I don't know what this thing's going to top out at, but I'm not really keeping, like I said, I want to look at the condition rather than uh, <laughs> the scale. And you saw me with the shirt off. So You're I'm, I'm going to try to get in better condition, but hold the size. So I really don't want to get much bigger on the scale, but I want to get the round tissue back. That's the goal. Uh, as we head into the winter time and uh, you know start thinking about what's gonna bring next season it's yep. all so people will start talking about me coming back to the Olympia <laughs> wide open division so <laughs> if you guys aren't subscribed make sure you subscribe below stay tuned we got a ton of great stuff coming for JTV a lot of new uh, people are coming on board to uh, to showcase a lot of different talents on here we're just trying to give an over generalization of everything we thank everyone that continues to support us and uh, please write us in, man, if you're coming to Venice and you're uh, you're getting ready for one of these pro shows or whatever else, some of you top guys that we uh, that we might, you know, be trying to reach out to, make sure you hit us up and uh, they do. stay tuned. It's nice. They actually, yeah. they, I, I, I don't, we don't have to look for people. They come to us, which is so great. So pros, please put a message on here. Yeah. I'd like to see, uh, the fans like to see that you're watching. And, uh, yeah. you know, I know a lot of you guys reach out to me and say, hey, we love what you're doing with the channel. So uh, appreciate it. And, uh, subscribe like i said and uh, we'll see you at the next one out for las vegas uh october 20 20th yep we're done